Hi, Phil Plate from BadAstronomy.com here. Welcome to the very first edition of Q and BA, where you ask me questions about astronomy. I got a lot of questions this week, but galaxies really top the list of topics. A lot of people ask me about galaxies, including Mary CCC, Jack Yeomans, Mario Romero, Dan Holland, Michelle Turner, and Joshua C. They ask me what a galaxy is. Can I see one using my own telescope? And I know we live in a galaxy, but how do we know what kind it is? Well, let's go over the basics. A galaxy is a collection of gas and dust and stars held together by their mutual gravity. Now, small galaxies might have only a few million stars. Big ones, like our own Milky Way, have over a hundred billion stars. And really big ones can have trillions of stars. There are four basic kinds of galaxies. The first kind is elliptical. Now, these are elliptical shaped. Duh, right? M87 is a pretty typical example. It's a giant sphere of stars. Some of them are more stretched out, more elliptical than that. Those are called prolate elliptical galaxies. Another kind are the irregular galaxies. These are shapeless smears and smudges. Um, they really don't have much of a shape at all. Peculiar galaxies do have a shape, but they're weird. They're peculiar. They can be hoop or ring shaped. Sometimes when galaxies collide, you get all sorts of weird patterns out of them. They still have a shape, but they're weird. But when most people think of galaxies, they think of those magnificent pinwheel spiral arm galaxies, right? Well, I have a model of one here to show you about the different components of it. I took a picture of a spiral galaxy, a drawing, and glued it onto a compact disc, a CD. Now, to get the proportions right, I actually stacked several of them up. The spiral arms are actually part of a disc of stars and gas and dust. Now, in a big spiral like the Milky Way, that disc might be 100,000 light years across but only a few thousand light years thick. See? Now, that proportion's about right, the width here to the thickness. In the center is a bulge, a hub, of old red stars, and I have modeled that using a red rubber ball, which I have cut in half and literally taped on. I know, very sophisticated. There are actually two different kinds of spiral galaxies. There's the kind I just described, but there's also the barred spiral galaxy, and it's called that because they have a bar of stars across the center, a rectangular bar, and the spiral arms emanate from the ends of those. They're very pretty. Now, can you see galaxies like this from your own backyard? And the answer is yes, you can. In fact, with even a pair of binoculars, you can see dozens or hundreds of galaxies. And with a telescope, you can see thousands. You're probably not going to see much detail. These pictures I was showing you, I mean, those were from telescopes like Hubble, which is this huge telescope with very fancy cameras on it. And with your own eye, you're not going to see a whole lot. But you can see some stuff, and it can be pretty interesting. In the Northern Hemisphere, the Andromeda Galaxy, another big spiral like the Milky Way, can be seen even without a telescope. You can just look up and see it if you have a dark sight. With binoculars, you can see it pretty clearly, and with a telescope, it looks pretty cool. In the Southern Hemisphere, you have the Magellanic Clouds, the large and small Magellanic Clouds. Those are also naked eye galaxies. Those are irregular galaxies, also pretty cool through a telescope or even through binoculars. Now, we live in the Milky Way Galaxy, and we know what kind of galaxy it is. Now, how do we know that? Let's think about it for a second. If we lived in an elliptical galaxy, we were somewhere, you know, in this big ball of, of stars, everywhere we'd look in the sky, we'd see stars scattered all around us. But we don't actually see that. When you go out at night, you see the Milky Way, this diffuse band of light going across the sky. That's actually made up of billions of stars. Their combined light is making that glow. And if you look towards the constellation of Sagittarius, it actually puffs out. It bulges there. That sound familiar? Ha ha ha! Sounds like a spiral, doesn't it? Now, if you're outside of a spiral galaxy and you're looking down on it, you can see those spiral arms and it's pretty easy to tell it's a spiral. But if you're inside of it, it's not so easy, right? Because you're inside of it and you're seeing it edge on like this. So what you would see is that band of stars like that, and when you look towards the center, you'd see the bulge. Now, we know the sun is halfway out of our galaxy, from the center to the edge, that is. So when we look towards the center, that's the direction of Sagittarius. That's when we see that big ball in the sky. So we know that we live in a spiral galaxy. In fact, very careful measurements of the stars in the center of our galaxy has revealed that we actually live in a barred spiral. And the bar is quite big. It's about 25 or 27,000 light years across. So from a distance outside of our galaxy, it would be really magnificent to see it. This brings me to an interesting point. Those pictures I showed you, those were from Hubble and from other telescopes, big telescopes. And it turns out, no matter where we point these things, we see galaxies. They are everywhere. A hundred years ago, astronomers were arguing over what galaxies were. Now we understand what they are pretty well. We know that there are hundreds of billions of them in the, in the universe, and that our galaxy is just one among them. 
and we have about 100 or 200 billion stars in our galaxy. And our sun is just one among many of them. We used to think we were the center of the universe, that we were pretty special. But now we know that we're just one planet around one star in one galaxy in a really big universe. That's one of the reasons I love science. It really tells us more about ourselves and our place in the universe. And I think that's one of the reasons astronomy is so, so cool. For BadAstronomy.com, this is Phil Plate.